Hey everyone, this is Cody and today I'm going to be reviewing the Draco 62 Quintuplet Refractor from Founder Optics, so let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to thank Agena Astro and Founder Optics for letting me review the Draco 62 today. Agena is great because their reviews come with no strings attached. I'm not required to say anything and you know me, I would not review a telescope if I was not allowed to be honest about it. So this is my honest review of the scope and what's cool is I actually got to use the prototype version of this telescope for a couple months. Um, some fixes needed to be made from Founder Optics. They took care of all those. And now this is the uh, production run, I guess you would say. So honestly, it's a, an awesome telescope and I'm excited to review it today. The Draco 62 is a 300 millimeter telescope that is F4.8. It's a Taiwanese scope, very excellent fit and finish on the outside. I was really impressed with it. It has a full 360 degree rotator. And it also has a window here with graduated millimeter markings so that you can see where your focus is with and without a focal reducer. Now, speaking of the focal reducer, I have mine installed right now, but it does come with a 0.83X focal reducer to drop your focal length to about 250 millimeters and your focal ratio to F3.9. Uh, the focuser is excellent. It's rack and pinion and everything uses threaded connections throughout. So you get a nice, durable, rigid uh, focus system here. You don't have to really worry about a lot of the you know, the, the tilt or anything in the system. The telescope comes with a 1.25 inch dielectric diagonal. So for those of you that like sharp, low magnification, wide field views, the Draco 62 fits that role nicely. To use the telescope visually, first unthread the camera adapter. Next, thread in the diagonal adapter. Unthread the one and a quarter inch eyepiece barrel from the dielectric diagonal. Then thread the diagonal into the adapter plate. Unlock the diagonal and put in an eyepiece and relock it up. Lastly, you can use the 360 degree rotator to get the eyepiece in a nice comfortable position for viewing. Using this Explore Scientific 15mm eyepiece with the Draco 62, that's going to give me 20x magnification or really wide field views. So if you like a ton of stars in your eyepiece, nice and crisp, the Draco 62 it makes an awesome visual instrument in addition to an astrophotography instrument. The Draco 62 backpack and inside carrying case are both excellent. I feel like with most telescope carrying cases, they're not very modular. They might hold an eyepiece or two and the telescope, but not much else. This is totally different. It is very customizable and modular, which is great. So looking at the exterior here, it has a nice hard shell on the outside with the Founder Optics logo and a picture of the Draco 62. On each side, you have a mesh retaining pouch. It's actually pretty large, which is nice. So you can put a lot of things in here if you need to. On the rear of the bag here, or the front, I guess you would say, you also have a nice hard backing here which is really comfortable and great stitching overall so the exterior of the bag they did a great job on the interior of the backpack this is where things become really customizable so at the top here you can uh, arrange this how you want to but you have room for filters cameras cables extra batteries that sort of thing which is really nice and then the draco 62 has its own carrying case with its foam and all that to protect it. So you get double the protection there. Uh, but looking at this backpack a little bit further, you have a really large slot here, uh, or a really large pouch for a laptop or a tablet, that sort of thing. You can put notepads here, flashlights, batteries, pens, whatever you want. And the other cool thing about this backpack is on the inside, this Velcro runs all the way down, so you can arrange these panels however you want and make this a true photography backpack. You could load this up with DSLRs, mirrorless cameras, lenses, really whatever you want, and you could just carry this on the side if you wanted to. So yeah, the backpack is very modular, which is a great touch. The inside carrying case, excellent foam to protect and secure the telescope. So you have the telescope here, obviously. Uh, your adapter rings, a dielectric diagonal, a carrying handle or finder shoe, as well as the focal reducer. So everything is contained right inside here. And then again, in the backpack, you still have room for your camera and all that. So it makes things really nice. You might not have to carry so many bags with you on your next dark sky trip with the, uh, the Draco 62. So yeah, 
excellent backpack and inside carrying case. The Draco 62 is rated IP67 waterproof. And what's kind of interesting is the objective lens here has a hydrophobic coating on it. So they really try to make this water resistant. So that's kind of an interesting but neat feature on the Draco 62. And overall, you can just see the fit and finish on the telescope is excellent. I really like the 360 degree rotator on the Draco 62. Once it's unthreaded, it turns, but it's it turns freely, but it, there's a little bit of resistance, which I actually like because again, it's just kept keeping everything nice and tight. So you can really spin it where you want it, tighten it down, and you're staying aligned with your optics, which is good. So again, just another quality piece on the Draco 62. The telescope is advertised as having ED glass. So I reached out to Founder Optics and asked what glass they actually used. And they let me know that they use one element of FPL 53 and one element of FPL 55. And then the rest is just your standard ED glass. I'm not sure what the glass is in the reducer, but overall you're getting a quintuplet refractor with five lenses and a two element focal reducer. Now in my images, I've noticed contrasty sharp images. So the glass is excellent in the Draco 62. The Draco 62 does have an extendable dew shield. To pull it out, you simply just turn this green ring clockwise and loosen it up and pull it out. And then turn it counterclockwise to re-tighten it up. The Draco 62 is compatible with the ZWO EAF straight out of the box, so you don't need any additional tools or anything to install this, which is super convenient for astrophotography. The Draco 62 has a 44 millimeter image circle, which is perfect for full frame sensors and crop sensors like this one. And to really take advantage of those larger sensors, they include a 54 millimeter threaded camera adapter. It's M54 by 0.75, which is what I have installed right now. And they also include an M48 by 0.75 threaded camera adapter. So both great options for these bigger sensors. Uh, one thing to mention, if you are not using the focal reducer, you're just using the telescope at its native focal length, you need to install this threaded spacer ring to one of your camera adapters. And then that's gonna go into the telescope. If you are using the focal reducer like I am right now, you take the threaded spacer ring out and you just use the camera adapter by itself. I really do like the big image circle and that they include a 54 millimeter threaded uh, a camera adapter as well as a 48 millimeter threaded camera adapter. So you have multiple options for attaching your camera. The Draco 62 has a mass of 3.2 kilos, which equates to about seven pounds of weight when you have the tube rings and the dovetail and everything on here. So not bad. It also has a standard back focus of 55 millimeters, just like most other refractors. Installing the included 0.83x focal reducer is simple. You just get everything off the back rear end of the telescope and you thread it in. Once you're done with that, go ahead and get your M48 by 0.75 camera adapter or your M54 camera adapter. I'm using the M54 and thread that over the top of the reducer. And then from this point, you just need your standard 55 millimeters of back focus, which I already have on my camera here. So you can see installing the focal reducer is simple, and I just made the telescope f3.9 instead of f4.8. So I'm gathering that light or those photons quicker, producing an image more quickly, and it, you know making my field of view just a, a little bit larger. Here's the part you've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and check to see how the imaging performance is with the Draco 62 with an APS-C size sensor. This is the ASI 2600 MC Duo. And I'll also show you how it performed with my Canon R8, which is a full frame sensor. We'll evaluate those stars at the edges and see how the optics perform. So let's take a look at some of the chromatic aberration or color with the Draco 62. This was a shot of M5 in the constellation Serpens globular cluster here. And I didn't touch the star color or anything like that, just did a basic background stretch and noise reduction. So the star color should be just fine. Now, I'm not terribly picky when it comes to this stuff. Uh, I know refractor people really focus on this a lot, which is totally fine. So I'm just not gonna give a ton of commentary. I'm just going to uh, zoom in on some of the stars here. So these should be pretty much a natural look at the star colors. Um, that the Draco 62 will give you. So I'll just let you take a look at some of these and kind of decide for yourself. Let's see if I can find another good one. Ooh. Mm. Let's zoom in here. You can see even after three years of having pics inside, I'm still a little bit of a noob with it, but yeah, so I'm pretty good right there. 
Yeah, so get a little bit more of the reddish tinge on this side and the bluish tinge on that side. So again, I'm gonna let you evaluate that a little bit for yourself. Depends how much on pixel peeping you wanna do, but overall the image itself, I think, looks pretty good with this uh, little one inch format sensor size. To evaluate the telescope, I figured it'd be a good idea to start with an APS-C size sensor. So this is an image of the Veil Supernova Remnant in Cygnus using the ZWO ASI 2600MC Duo camera. Now I will say this is at the Draco 62's native focal length. I did not use the focal reducer for this image. And one other thing I'll mention is I just don't have a ton of time to edit images anymore. So this is pretty much unedited. I just did a basic stretch in Astro Pixel Processor and some noise reduction. In fact, if I go to the bottom of the image here, you'll see that I haven't even cropped it yet from any of those like stacking artifacts. So let's go ahead and look at the corners here. We're gonna pixel peep. The stars look pretty good here. Uh, I was guiding with the ZWO AM3 mount, which does a great job. Let me go up to the, the top left corner. And yeah, you can see everything's looking pretty good. Now, obviously my squares are a little, or my stars are a little bit square-like just because the uh, image scale, um, but overall looks pretty good with APS-C sensors. So that's, that's great. And let me just zoom out here. And again, you can be a pixel peeper as much as you want. When I love, what I love to see obviously is this, this full image and it just looks great to me. So overall, I think it looks good. You can evaluate as much as you want. Uh, I'm not terribly picky, but that's just me. If you are, that's totally fine. And yeah, so everything's looking pretty good so far with APS-C size sensor. So let's uh, go ahead and move on from here. Here's the same image with the same camera. The only difference here is I included the 0.83X focal reducer, just so you can get a feel for how much the field of view increases when you use the focal reducer. And just to see you know, if everything still looks good in the, the corners and with the image overall. So let's just go ahead and, and zoom in here again, like we did previously. So I'll go to the top left corner first. Things look pretty good here. Again, this is minimally edited. This is just a basic stretch in Astro Pixel Processor and some noise reduction. Still look pretty good in the top right, going to the bottom right here. Still looking okay. And the bottom left. Yeah, so overall, I think the stars look good. The focal reducer performs well. It speeds up your telescope. You're able to get a little bit bigger field of view so you can fit more of this object in your field of view and pick up those photons a little bit faster. So APS-C size sensors, the Draco 62, does a great job with and without the included focal reducer. The Draco 62 does have a 44 millimeter image circle, so I thought it would be smart to show you what the telescope is capable of with a full frame sensor. So I use my Canon R8 to take these two images. The one on the left is with the focal reducer, the one on the right is not, so you can see the differences in, in brightness there. Um, they're both 30 second exposures, ISO 1600. The only problem is for some reason, I did not have my camera set to RAW, it was set to JPEG. So you might see some compression issues, but hopefully nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the image on the right, which is without the reducer. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and check out the stars again. I know this video is getting a bit long, so I'm gonna try to be quick about it. Let's see. Okay, so pretty good at the top left, top right. Getting a little bit of stretching here. Uh, it's not terrible, but this was kind of more of what I was expecting with a full frame sensor. So uh, that, that corner there, yeah, if you're a pixel peeper, that'll probably definitely bother you. But again, it's not horrible, I would say. Let's go to the bottom right. Okay, again, not too bad, I would say. Go to the bottom left. And looking good. Okay, so uh, that top right, kind of through the middle there, you got some stretching, so possibly some misalignment of the optics, focal reducer, and the, the main imaging system, or you know maybe some sag, tilt, or collimation, or something like that. But let's look at the left-hand side with the focal reducer, and we'll just do that same thing. Zoom in on the, uh, the top left here. Okay, those look pretty good, actually. I would say those are nice and round. Go to the top right. Looking good. 
Awesome. Okay, bottom right. Still looking good. Bottom left. Okay, yeah, so some of that stretching. <laughs> Misalignment of the optics possibly or maybe some sag or tilt, but honestly three out of those four corners look great with a, a full frame sensor And as I mentioned the Draco 62 does have a 44 millimeter image circle So you might as well take advantage of it And if you just put a little time into perfecting it I think it's actually probably a, a pretty usable telescope with a full frame sensor Using PixInsight's aberration inspector tool I'll let you inspect the corners edges and center of each image as a mosaic starting with the APS-C sensor without the focal reducer Next is the APS-C sensor with the reducer Here we have the full frame sensor without the reducer Lastly, here's the full frame sensor with the reducer. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up this review of the Founder Optics Draco 62 quintuplet refractor with the two element focal reducer included. I'd just like to thank Agena Astro and Founder Optics for working with me and allowing me to review this telescope. This is definitely a keeper for me. And I just love all the features that it has that you don't have to buy separately. So overall, just an awesome setup from Founder Optics. I'm pretty impressed with it, to be honest. So the Draco 62, super quality scope, and I'm happy to review it today. So hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, as always, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching and clear skies.